Hi, Chris Biffle, Coach B, three-step lesson on fractions. Now, don't worry. I'm going to help you. Here we go. The first step is easy. We just ask a question. What's a fraction? What is a fraction? Second step, we give the answer. We always give an answer with a gesture. A fraction shows parts of a whole. A fraction shows parts of a whole. These are the parts. This is the whole. Now watch. Let's just start easy. Good place to start. Four of four parts, that's not a fraction, it's just a statement. And there's a pizza, that's not a fraction. It shows you four of the four parts of the pizza. Now here comes the fraction. Four of four parts. That's it. Four of four parts of a whole. Check it out. Do it one more time. Three of four parts, a statement, not a fraction. A pizza showing you three of the four parts. Let's make a fraction. Three of four parts of a whole. Three of four parts of a whole. You can see the three parts. Again, two of four parts. There's the pizza, and you know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you two of four parts of the whole. This is the fraction. It's the same as the other pieces. It's just one number over another number. Last time. I promise. One of four parts, there's the pizza, one of four parts, here's the fraction. The number on top shows you how many parts. The number on the bottom shows you how many parts in the whole. One of four parts in the whole. Now here's, here's the point. The statement one of four parts, the pizza the one of the four parts of the pizza. That's the same thing as the fraction. Those are all saying the same thing. It's all the same. You see that? So listen. Don't be afraid of fractions. Fractions are just a way to cut up pizzas and other stuff. Yeah. So a little deep thinking here. Could you have three of two parts? Yes? No. Think about it. So it's Coach B signing off saying power to the kids. <laughs>